Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE fan0599 here again, and today we're going to review episode 13 of season 3 of Arrow, and this episode is entitled Canaries. So, what this episode is basically about, Count Vertigo is out again, you know, he is, you know, he escaped from, uh, from prison, and he's basically going around giving Vertigo to everybody again. Now it's up to Green Arrow, Arsenal, and the Black Canary to stop him before he, you know, unleashes this all over the place, you know? So what did I think of this episode? Awesome episode. I really enjoyed episode 13 of season 3 of Arrow. So let's get into the positives, and the positives are the action. Of course, the action's great. Although it... I, um, do some of the flashbacks, it was like shaking the camera at, at, at some points, but, but besides that, the action was really great. I really liked the action in this episode. Everybody in this episode, all the acting was mostly great all around. Oh yeah, and spoilers, spoilers. I always forget this, spoilers are ahead. You know, I like that finally, finally, Oliver reveals his secret to Thea. I like that, that... Now Thea knows that he is the Green Arrow, and that's great, in my opinion. I was really nervous. I thought she was going to freak out. She was going to never talk to Oliver again. It was going to be like, oh. But no, she took it lightly. She was like, I I'm proud of you and stuff, and that's great. I love that. You know, I love the fact that she didn't freak out about it. I'm glad she took it nicely. also like the fact that Roy came to help Thea, because... The boy, well, the DJ from the last few, from the last few episodes, we found out that he is now, he's working for Raz Al Ghul, and I like the fight scene, the little fight scene they had, and Roy was getting his butt kicked until Malcolm showed up, and then the dude killed himself, the uh, DJ. I liked seeing um, Roy come to, come to the rescue that time. That was awesome. I also like the fact that Oliver and Thea and Malcolm all have to team up now. They all have to team up now to take it down by Azogo, and I like that. So that was cool. And finally, Laurel, you had the guts to do it, and you finally did it. You told your father your sister's dead. You finally told him. Good for you, okay? Good for you. You finally t told him. Throughout the entire scene, I was actually like, please don't have a heart attack, please don't have a heart attack, because I was afraid... That was going to happen in that scene, you know? I was just afraid that was going to happen. My negatives with this episode were that I felt like that everyone's now against Oliver. Like, why is everyone so against him now with the decisions he's making? And I'm like, he's your leader. First off, none of you would have been here if it, if it wasn't for him, so be respectful to him. Second of all, it, like, you got Roy thinking he's... The boy standing up to him, and then you have Felicity arguing with him. What is wrong with you people? Why are you so against him now? Why? I just don't get why they're so against Oliver now. It's just because he needs to work with Malcolm Merlin to fight Raz Al Ghul. That's the right decision, in my opinion. And everyone's so against it. Especially Felicity. Felicity's being just such a whiny pants about it, in my opinion. And my other negative is that the flashbacks weren't really all that great. I felt like the flashbacks were... Kind of weak. I felt like they were the weakest aspect of this episode. Even though in the beginning the flashbacks weren't all that great. Uh, throughout the rest of the episodes they were great in my opinion. You know, in this episode they were just really forgettable in my opinion. Also, I like the fact that Laura got hit with the Virgo. She would see her sister. And I like that they were fighting and made, you know, uh, Laura kind of be like, I don't need to be like my sister. I could... Just be like myself, you know? So I liked that. So overall, this episode was pretty enjoyable. It was a great episode. Really enjoyed it. So it's time for my official grade. And my official grade on this episode is an A-. minus. Cannot wait for next week's episode. Because he's back. Hello, kid. It, it's it's going to be awesome. So what did you guys think of this episode? Leave it in the comment section below. I'm WWE Fan 0599. And we'll see you all later. Peace.